Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Bear Thing. King Bear is in the building. Yes, indeed. And we got a very special guest with us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Tui is in the building with us today, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, so we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to see what, where your head's at and how you think on a few things because it's been a while. All right, uh, all right. All right, so you ready to get it? Let's get it. All right, let's do this. Stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. It's King Bear in the building, along with a young man I'm very proud of, my son. Tui's in the building with us, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said before. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's your boy, Tui. Let's get started. All right. All right. So, we're going to start off today's show. Uh, you know what? Let's talk about... Let's talk about music, you know, because music is something near and dear to both our hearts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one who put that music in him. <laughs> he came up out of me and I put that music in him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I hate to say he's right. <laughs> <laughs> shout outs. Shotguns and shout outs to you. Dr. Mindbender. We ain't even going to talk about that. We'll discuss that at a later date. Because <laughs> right around the age that you are now, you know, I used to do my thing, but we ain't going to talk about that. Um, so let's, yeah, let's talk about, you know, the state of today's music and how things work and all that. So, um, me being from a little bit more of the, the older school, you know, I'm at, I'm at that, that tween age, shout out to Generation X, um, where I still think I'm young enough to be, you know, on top of things on the music. But the generations behind me see me as the old head. I don't even understand that. Like it's, <laughs> I, I can't even. We don't make the rules. That's just how it is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, ladies and gentlemen, somebody's gonna need a belt after this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but um, yeah. So, you know, why don't you take a few minutes to uh, school me on on today's music and. And how things work. Like, for instance, I'll, I'll 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 get us there. I'll get us to the rabbit hole, and then you jump and then let me know how this thing works. All right. So when when I was coming up, my music was always, you know, being a, a young New York City hood rat. Shout out to NYC. I see. Um, you know, I was always grounded in, you know, in hip hop in the early hip hop days of uh not too early not that sugar hill and all that i'm not that old <laughs> not even close but more of that oh we got <laughs> fucking <laughs> we got what year was that again uh, 19 <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you ain't gonna play with me today boy <laughs> so um Nah, but I, you know, my music at the time was definitely the leaders of the new school, Tribe Called Quest. You know, I was more of that, that, um, uh, what do you call that? That neo soul, neo hip hop. You know, I like, I love 808s. I love good earthy sounds, some that make you move and groove a little bit, yeah. but not a lot of noise in the background, especially like. <laughs> Like, I love that sound now, but in my music, I hated it. I hated it. Yeah, I hated, like, sirens and gunshots. And I hated it. <laughs> but, you know, I'm older now, and I've, I've accepted some new things. So, um, but, so now, when I try to listen to today's music, um, there's some that's out there that I'm like, whoa, they belong with us. Um but others, you know, there's a lot of, I, I've noticed there's a lot of morphing of the music. You know, it's it's not just a hip hop thing anymore. It's not just a rock thing. It's not R&B thing. Everything's kind of blending. Yeah. So, you know, how, how does that, how, how do you find artists or, or how do you find your group or what you like when you're listening to music? Yeah, so I guess it, Ultimately depends on the mood you type the mood you're in right now. So mm -hmm. instead of way back then where it's oh I wanna to listen to this artist of 
or oh I know this group with this particular type of music so let me just put that on now mm -hmm. artists are more expanding their catalog trying to um, experiment with more and new sounds let's say for instance um, what's a good one uh, Kendrick Lamar Oh, ladies and gentlemen, he go, he gonna cheat right out the gate. <laughs> Shout out to K Dot. That's not fair because I he goes on both, but I I, I got where you going. But let's Kung, let's go. What you got? Kung Fu Kenny, straight from overly dedicated and Good Kid, Mad City, all the way now to Miss Morale and the Big Steppers. You have music back then where it's you know hard 808s, hard beats, but still that West Coast sound sound mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. Where where and now in his music now it's. He's, he's telling a story with his whole entire album, and okay. within those within those songs, he uses specific samples. He uses all these stuff that yeah, like given from I would say your generation of music, you know, the, the sampling, the remixing that that came from y'all, you know. Of course, still, but of course, <laughs> and the way we do it as we take um, instead of like trying to take every bit of sample from one song, mm -hmm. we take we um, what's it good on? I forget what song it is, but he uses it, he uses the beats in one song. Let's say for the drums, the kicks, the um, for one beat, and then he'll use a, a whole different melody okay. from something not even related. Right. So let's say um, kind of, kind of used to do it really good at, it, but let's say from let's say African singing. Okay, right? and he'll mm -hmm. take it, remix it, and then within that song. Uh, can change it to either hip hop, but you know, can, Kung Fu Kenny's more hip hop and right, you know, right. more rap. But he's able to take those songs, make it such an amazing melody to it, where it's, mm -hmm. hold on, this isn't just hard rap, like back and forth, back and forth, like you know, bar for bar. Right. He's elevated to where he can use like a more type of comedic sound with it now, like his cousin Baby Keem, where the music they they make is more more comedic but also like oh you memorize it more and like you know the song because of the chorus okay right so making so, it more lively mm -hmm. and then a little bit more of a like a clubby feel that that makes you want to move and then mm -hmm. makes you remember what he said and mm -hmm. okay and then what they put them to do perfectly is they put a whole twist on it so let's say in the song um uh let's do family ties okay. from kendrick and baby king it's um, what should we call it? This, you know, classic song. Uh, Baby Keem has, you know, first first verse. Kendrick has the second. Then at the end, they do like a little back and forth. But near the end, it switches. He does a little. Um, he does a country voice to it. He adds like okay. a little little fun aspect to it. And more and more rappers are doing this now. Um, you have uh, what's a good another big name? Uh, GID uh, from the ATFL. Uh, no, no. Shout out to JID. Absolute dog in it. Okay. Uh, Y'all haven't heard the Forever Story. Should have been the album of the year, in, in my opinion. Okay. And rappers now are more trying to appeal towards they rap, but they can also sing. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's not just trying to. It's trying to. What's a good word for it? <coughs> Excuse me. It's trying to speak a message but also trying to be different, right? Mm -hmm. And for kids now, all I see is, oh, I either gotta be different or, I'll have, or I have to follow the trend, I have to follow the system. Mm -hmm. Because like with TikTok and all that, it's you either have a funny sounding part in your song or you have one consistent chorus part in your song that, okay, I like it, I like it. Mm -hmm. And as long as you have those two good parts, like a really nice chorus or like one good part of your song, then you can post those up. Most people would be fine with it and just mm -hmm. be done. Yet, what these rappers do is, instead of trying to follow that trend, they um, they elevate it, if that makes sense. So, no, I'm just rambling now, but. No, you're good. Is, you know, because I, you know, not to cut you off, but it's mm. it, it, it's cool. A couple of things you said there, because, um, you know, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Exactly. Everything that you were just saying was something. And ladies and gentlemen, now I am the official old head in the building. 
King Bear is the old head in the building. But I gotta say it. Everything that you, you just said, you know, is nothing new under the sun. All the all the techniques and all the 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 little nuances and specialties that, you know, the K dots and the things are doing, you know, my generation was doing it um and using the same type of formulas. Mm -hmm. Um and it you know, it's it works because it, it speaks to our inner souls as, you know, melanated people. It's it's just something that, you know, it grabs our soul in a certain frequency and it causes us to, yeah, we like that. So, you know, it, it's mad cool. It, it's absolutely astonishing to hear you talk about these things. And, um, and ladies and gentlemen, just for, you know, a little proud papa type of, uh, you know, background real quick, you know, for those who know from way back in the days when I was his age, you know, I was actually uh, producing music. I had my own record label. I had artists from uh, several artists up underneath me. And so I had got heavy into the sound engineering, sound production, things of that nature, while I actually made music myself. And of course, way back when. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the the thing I was I was I was getting to was you know when I when I did it um I did a lot of stuff and I was proud of it but I never I never sat my son down and said okay here listen to this you know this is how I do it because one thing I always wanted you to do was to to find your own path you know, tread the way that works for you. And ladies and gentlemen, it's just so amazing because the things that I was doing then, my son is now doing, you know, today. You know, without any influence of me, you know, he started talking to me about getting into the sound engineering and then he's in college right now, ladies and gentlemen. And um, <clears throat> he's in college now and I happen to look over his shoulder and one of his one in his laptop, and I see the soundboard pulled up, and I'm like, oh, yes, 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 yes. So, um, kind of took us on a, a roundabout on there. Um, but basically, like you were saying, you know, it, it's you take the sound, you take a way of doing things, and then you have to bring it up to who you are, make it personal, make it you, and then when you release it, people recognize it for that being your sound and that way of doing things. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you think that the way that um, K-Dot actually, um, how he tells stories and things of that nature, do you think he is a pioneer of that? Do you think he is the best at doing that? Do you think that um, he is the mark that later generations to set themselves? Like, how do you feel about um, his particular style? Yeah, uh, Kendrick, Kendrick's so unique. And I feel that he is a pioneer for that. I think he's been a pioneer for using, um, especially in more today's music, on using multiple different voices. And so you're creating multiple different characters in yourself. Uh, for that, like, um, like let's just say, uh, which one? Uh, back, uh, backseat freestyle, uses multiple different voices. Um, and um, swimming pools is the main one I'm thinking of where once you hear the song it's like I know it's a little oldie and basically everyone knows it so when you go through it it's, you hear low voice Kendrick you hear high pitch you hear whisper but once you hear it the first time it's who are these people and they each create a different um, version of the song like part of the song that's you enjoy it you like it and Kendrick's done this um Another big name in story in storytelling rap is, of course, Jermaine Cole, aka J Cole. Shout out, um, absolute legend. And then he's done. You see, his music is chill, nice. Well, not all of it, but most of his music tells a story. Either tells a story or has a purpose within it. Mm -hmm. Like everyone knows, everyone knows wet dreams, right? Mm -hmm. You know, me, me and the. Fun. Meeting your, your fine classmate, you know, take, taking the back for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> the boy over here reminiscing. 
<laughs> you too young to reminisce, dude. <laughs> you ain't live long enough to reminisce. All you're doing is rem up. <laughs> I am imagining my years. Uh, get, getting older. My, my bones are aching. Really, uh, nigga? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, okay. Then, then you have um, it's another big name, another good name. Uh, again, like Lil Wayne, which you know, yo generation, slow or no, nah, it's the end of your little generation to mine. Oh, <sighs> <laughs> Bruh, Lil Wayne is dope. <laughs> we- Weezy is dope, <laughs> but he is not of my generation. Weezy's of your sister's generation, dog. He's uh, what do you call those? The um, the uh, not millennials, right before millennials, the Z's or the the Y's or the ones between me and you, kind of thing. So, okay. um, I think that's millennials. That's millennials, yeah. All right. All right. Shout out to Baby Girl. Shout out to Jada Bear. All right. <laughs> so, we got everybody in the building. Um, so, it's, it's interesting that you bring them up, but I'm going to bring up a couple names to see if, if you really know these names. All right? All right. I'm going to start off easy. Busta Rhymes. Oh, of course. Okay. Say one of the best to ever do it. DMX. Of course. Rest in peace. Absolute legend. Okay. Slick Rick. Of course. Okay. Uh, what you call it? Um, forgetting the obvious song. Um, what should we call it? Story. <laughs> I, it's the story. Uh, oh, dude, uh, let me stop. Uh, let me stop. Can't, name is gonna. I'm gonna look at my phone later and know exactly what song I'm thinking about right now. You, you, you ain't even gonna have to wait that long. It's the children's story. Now, I'll let you know right now. Shout out to Slick Rig and the children's story. Knock him off the ball. That's it. One last name. Ghostface Killer. Of course. Hmm. From what? from Wu Tang, uh uh-huh. seems a little, name seems kind of close, don't it? Very, very close, close in in relativity kind of thing, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to family, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so the reason why I bring up those names because all four of those names are considered true pioneers uh, in the storytelling game. Um, everything that you mentioned from K Dot and from J Cole um, and JID, these guys have really done it. Now they're not even the originators, because you got to go before my generation to really get to the the storytellers. Because you know, there's a song way back, way before my generation. So no quack. Crazy crack jokes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you've heard of Rapper's Delight. Of course. Okay, that some would consider that one of the original rap uh, stories. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, um, the rappers that tell stories was uh, the Sugar Hill Gang. Africa Bambada would tell stories left and right. I mean, that's basically... That's where our music originated from, was uh, melanated peoples actually sitting around and telling stories about where we come from, and then putting those stories to beat. And it's just been an evolution from the days of the storytellers of ancient tribes and tribes of old to today, where it's done in soliloquies, but with music in the background. So it's it, it, it's something that's always been, but now it's just, it's so beautifully done. Because it's not just people sitting around a campfire and, and listening. It's really, you know, you have to put your phone down. 
you got to turn the TV off. You got to put the put the laptop uh, head down, and you got to listen because a lot of the things that these cats are saying is unbelievable. And I definitely, I definitely put K Dot, J Cole, and Wayne up there with the greats. So I'm, I'm not one of those that's like, oh, this generation, y'all don't know, y'all don't know real music, and eh, a lot of times y'all don't. But <laughs> there are some times when you really, really do. So, you know, I, I like to put that out there. And um, it, it, it's really stupid to hear you talk about these things and, and, and how you like them. And it, it, it does the heart good. It does the heart good. Um, now, getting away from the K dots, you know, and the things that, and Wayne's that you tried to say was in my generation in in the amazing generation x amazing that's right we started it all baby we started it all shout out to all the generation x's out there yo yo like comment subscribe go ahead and put down in the comments say what's up and tell these young cats over here about generation x because they they just don't get it they don't get it you know the baby boomers don't get it the Perfect generation before them don't get it. Y don't get it. Z don't get it. Millennials don't get it. Generation X started all the mayhem. I'm telling you right now, we started all the malarkey, all the BS. So we wear that hat proud, okay? So don't be sleeping on Gen X. I'm just saying that. Not sleeping, <laughs> but we do got to pick it up and bring it back, though. <sighs> That's because y'all dropped it. Millennials dropped it. Whoa. Mo Millennials dropped it. What's that Gorilla Kid's name? And, 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 the, and the mush, the, the the mumble rappers. Hold on, man, because y'all started a whole a whole group. A whole a whole. How how's Migos again? Because huh? Migos Migos started the wave for the mumble rapping. Were you just speaking English? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put in the comments to explain what the hell this boy just said to me. <laughs> he said. To me, the Beagle started to wave to kill the mobile rat. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. It's elaborate for me there, son. Elaborate. No, Migos, um, with their with their ad libs and the new way of um rapping, I feel they have pioneered the way for uh, I think what is it now called a uh, triplet flow, triplet flow, which is now called the Migos flow. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was rapping on. I think rapping on third. Rapping on Thirst or something like that, okay. and then, but when you hear a Migos song, and you turn like let's say, um, uh, rest in peace, take off. But when you throw on Hotel Lobby, uh, you hear it, and it's just hard. All right, and this I think this is more of the way that you hear the music. Mm -hmm. and you, like you hear the lyrics, you know, you don't really worry about the lyrics at all. You just ride the wave, riding the beat, like. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you, and you just ride with it, and mm -hmm. everyone like, if you, m most everyone should know Amigo song. Like once you turn it up, like everyone should know Bad and Bougie. Everyone should know. Uh, yeah. That's a, that was a good song. <laughs> Lil Uzi spit on that song. Oh, oh. Amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. another one. Ooh, do a Uzi hater? <sighs> nah, I ain't gonna mess with you. <laughs> nah. <laughs> You know, it, it, it's not my thing, but I'm not gonna hate on them. No, I'm not gonna hate. It, it's a, it's a new, it's a new sound that um, I think, especially Uzi now is moving more towards a uh, not club, but more dance type of music. Um, mm -hmm. Like he just came out with um, I just but video for just wanna, I think just wanna rock. It's I just wanna rock, 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 and that's maybe the lyrics, right? But it's nothing you would listen. <laughs> you hit. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> it's. A, I will. I will. <laughs> I will not be silenced. I will okay. be heard. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just. I'm being stupid. Go ahead. Go ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think with new this new music, it's music where it's now comfortable where more rappers and artists won't have to worry so much about the lyrics they're putting in mm -hmm. but can now focus on let me hear the beat 
let me hear how it sounds. Does it get your body moving? Does it get your head nodding? Like, can you blast on the highway and just go to it? Not have to worry about anything, just boom, boom, boom. And then, yeah. and, and of course, now it's um So from, club bangers. Yeah. Basically. And okay. I would definitely say, one thing about Gen Z, I, I don't like with no, more and more music from it, mm-hmm. and a little bit more artists try to appear, appear to, appeal towards is making a short, small, sweet song that has two two choruses, two verses, and that's the formula for them. And personally, if it's just that, I'm going to get tired of it. Uh, it's It's worn out. It is. The, the baby did it for so long. Before the baby's actually he's doing freestyles now. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's it's doing um he's doing more better on freestyles than some of his old music because it just be near the same beat with the same voice and you hear like, Oh yeah, it's the baby. Skip. No no disrespect. <laughs> no disrespect. He's got some fire songs, but mm-hmm. with some I think his most recent album just same flows, it's I think New rappers now are more comfortable with the same type of flow that they think, let me just do this over and over, make a quick album for for the money, for the sales, and boom, you're done right there. But... Woo! The, the baby, listen. No disrespect. Can we bring it a heat, ladies and gentlemen? I love it. No disrespect. He's here for it. No disrespect. The baby, no disrespect at all. I don't want to meet you in a Walmart. I don't. <laughs> I... And I'll meet you in a Walmart, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always here for contention. I'm here for the smoke. <sighs> Light it up, bro. <laughs> now, wow, yeah. man. I, I hear you. I hear you. And I'm, I'm amazed because, yo, me and the fellas was just talking about this. About how, you know, everything, you know, with this generation is instant. Everything's microwave. Your songs, like uh, my boy, comedian CJ Travers. Shout out to boy. We'll see you on the next recording. Um, he was talking about how um, how the locks, uh, I forget which which lock. Was it Sheet Loach? Somebody just dropped the album. Um, it had to be Sheet Loach because it wasn't... It wasn't Kiss, and it wasn't Style Speed, so it had to be Sheik Loke. And he said, you know, he turned on the album when he first got in the car. By the time he got to work, the album was already over. Like, the whole album. Like, everything is, like you said, it's 2 minutes and 30 seconds of blah, 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 blah. Let me say something in the chorus that hits, 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 gets in your head, and then the song's over. It's over with. And it's, you know, it's it's interesting and it's refreshing to hear somebody from your generation having that same issue, that same problem with today's music, which is you you were climbing that mountain towards, you know, a crescendo of creativity. Like things were like really going. And then somebody found a shortcut way that's like, you know what? I can really put a lot of effort and energy into... Um, making a really classic track, or I could just play this heavy beat and just say, hoes and bitches, hoes and bitches, hoes and bitches, hoes and bitches, and make twice the money. Yeah, screw the talent, I'm gonna do that. Because, and and, and then I noticed that a lot of people from, from the generations of yours and a little bit younger, stuff like that, has been, we're no longer rappers, we're not hip hop artists, we're rock stars. Mm-hmm. And it's like, even the rock stars put in the work <laughs> to exactly. make the songs. So, you know, they're, they're stringing their chords. They're coming up with entire songs. They ain't in there. Hoes and bitches. Hoes and bitches. Hoes and bitches. Hoes and bitches. Hit song. Package up. Sell it. Get it out there on, on, uh, on what is it? iTunes. And it's, it's crazy. Um, so I, I definitely applaud you. Because that was that was a very very good point, very good point. And I think um, uh, in the beginning, I 
one a couple rappers like Lil Baby and Roddy Rich, or no disrespect to Roddy, Roddy Rich or Lil Baby, but at the beginning it was like, let me let me hear it, you know, because my my music taste was, you know, Jid, K Dot, a uh, little bit of Odie's. Uh, at the time it was bumping Outkast too. It was like, okay, like okay. longer songs. And Ladies and gentlemen, I taught him well. I'm just want y'all <laughs> know that. Yes, it be. <laughs> Go ahead. And at the beginning, it's like, okay, little, little baby has some some fire songs. He's got some fire features. Mm -hmm. um, he can he can rap, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I think with his most recent album, there's after there's a couple songs I was like, okay, you know, it's a little different, you know, a little little, little catchiness. He had this song called uh, called Hey, and he was just Hey, and just rap from that, and then not just be the chorus like Hey. Hey, I'm like, okay, it's kind of catchy, mm -hmm. but after a while, it's okay. Uh huh. <laughs> what else uh, you got? All right, move it on. Mm -hmm. And it's with 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 an album. If you're like a, a fan for one artist, for an artist, right? You mm -hmm. expect them to be like, okay, you put this put these put this music into an album, and then it should be you know your best work that you feel that should be sold with those songs. Mm -hmm. And then, the, how I think those songs should tell a story that formulate the album, so yeah. it creates a meaningful album. Like the great Good Kid, Mad City, um, 2014, Four Hills Drive. Um, so go, not even one. I know I'm like, naming the same same two rappers, but that's top of my dome right now. Mm -hmm. And but what those albums do, it's you don't you're not expecting the same song when you hit one song you're listening for that song and then mm -hmm. you know what you're getting you don't know what you're gonna get out of the next song at the album you're mm -hmm. gonna expect something different you're gonna be like oh let me be on this new journey mm -hmm. um mr morale and the big steppers did that because i don't know what song it was but it was going hard and then um it switched over to auntie diaries right and it oh, switched okay. completely and you're yeah. like huh? yeah huh it's catcher you can't see it Can't no and then you hear um Classic out. Classic out. <laughs> Shout out to that album. Yo, I listen, I love that whole joint, man. <laughs> and then you heard uh We Cry Together and you're like, oh, what, mm -hmm. what, what? And then like you get into it because like you're experiencing with Kendrick because it's about him, um what's it? Um which we call it, like uh slowly changing, having to use to new things, um, where mm -hmm. it comes from, like being a black man, um you know, how stereotype is, you know, not always speaking out about your feelings, like not going to therapy, all of that, and now he's slowly changing. And you mm -hmm. see that within the lyrics and slowly changing within the album. Mm -hmm. And he literally has it um, from disc one and disc two, where it changes, where he's now going to therapy, where he's now <coughs> changing into this new, better person and learning from, you know, his past experiences. And with new like albums today, it's I I feel like it's losing that type of touch. Mm -hmm. And one of my oh one of my favorite albums now, um, I think it's called Halos by Kenny Mason. Uh, nice dude, he can he can rap, but he's all he's also he likes a little bit of a rock star too. Okay. And he implements both of those into his music, and on certain uh, songs, you he switches his voice. To where he starts sounding like different rappers. Okay. So like on one song, he starts sounding like Denzel Curry. Uh, Denzel Curry also had an amazing album, uh, "Melt My Eyes in Your Future." Amazing. Shout out. Uh, and he uses he his own voice, and you look at the song, and it's no one else is featured, but it's just him. Mm. And it's like it sounds like a feature, but it's himself like on it, and he spits on it too. Mm -hmm. And um, on different song, it's a different beat. Some songs would like sound kind of rock heavy while others be kind of rap and like fluid but they all have meaning to it and I think from that I, I think he's in Dreamville I, I may be wrong from that but he was on a few songs in Dreamville okay. with it too and then uh, another big name is like Earth Gang when you when you hear an Earth Gang song you know you hear you hear that that African type of that voice that um you know those high levels mm -hmm. But they bring something to a song. Literally and figuratively. 
Because <laughs> them, them brothers, they, they hired a red man on the airplane, y'all. Mm-hmm. Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> good stuff, though. Good stuff. Very good stuff. And then just throwing out names out there. Uh, what's it called? Um, Smino just came out with an album. Absolute fire. Uh, listen to that um, all the way through. And each song, Sounds Smino. Each song didn't sound like the next. Right. So if I was trying to listen to a song called Oh Last Kendrick and different from, I want to hear that song, and then I know that, okay, now I want to hear Noel's because it brings me a different type of version. Mm-hmm. And so I think what music... Juanita. Juanita is my joy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that joy, man. I love that Anita joy by Speedo, and I love I love the, the T-Pain remix. Shout outs to T Pain and, and Smino on that. I mm-hmm. love that Anita Joy, but I, yo, when we get done, I'm beating it on the way to the crib, dog. We, be- <laughs> I love that joint. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, though. Yeah, and I just think more artists, and not just hip hop, not just rap, but like talking pop, R and B, talk even rock. It's I think more music is supposed to put you more in a trance. Like, okay. I am here for this artist. What can this artist bring me that these artists can't? What can I listen to this artist that puts me in a whole different type of world that they show me, and that could be with uh, lyrics, um, and that could be with the beat, the ambiance within the song, how they do the cadence within it. <laughs> it, it all, I think, if you're forming an album with that, it should all form, you know, um, should form a story mm-hmm. and even there's albums that I listen to that you know don't really show a story that's just song after song after song yeah, sometimes good to listen to exactly and those are really good but it's the fact that those songs there's some songs that I just think an album songs need to differ, differentiate from each other so therefore I can listen I can see the you know the differences your the talent within it so it's not just the same thing over and over just for quick buck okay so let me ask you, as a young, soon to be up and coming uh, producer, you know, I, I, ladies and gentlemen, got to hear a couple of his his little uh, test tracks that he's working on, you know, for school and for other stuff. Um, do you do you believe that you would like to have your own sound, or do you not want to be pigeonholed into doing a particular type of music? Like, where do you see yourself going? Uh, when it comes to music production. Yeah. Um, I can see myself with, you know, the right, you know, learning and seeing just where life takes me. I think I'd like, I'd love to do all sorts of different types of music within it and then learn from it and create masterpieces from what I've learned um, and from the experiences I've had with that. And that could be from hip hop that could be, you know, wherever it takes me that it could be just straight making, you know, club bangers to just, you know, focusing on specifically just instrumentals, even if it's that. Or just, you know, looking at features or even maybe even going international, see the types of music out there, trying to incorporate it with American music or try to make different twists. But I think I I don't wanna be the person where it's like this is a whole new type of different thing Mm -hmm. you know humans love familiarity and it's bringing a new sound with a new voice that it's oh i like this it's kind of familiar it's hard it's nice it kind of sounds like a i want to be music that's like it kind of sounds like a oh this reminds me of a and stuff like that so yeah yeah, like music like oh this reminds me of like a nice Atlanta, you know, East Coast type of beat, but like, ooh, this must be kind of, kind of West Coast, kind of hard, nice, and then hopefully, you know, once I get to that point, you know, get some, get some nice features on it, you know, uh, in the future, shit. <laughs> Come holla at your boy, Come holla at your boy. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna, um, are you gonna, are you going to uh, put a stamp on the beginning, on the ends of your songs or your beats? Are we gonna be listening and, and hearing this a nitty beat? <laughs> DJ Clue. Are we gonna start hearing all these names? 
You better hear your name on on every beat or every piece of music you produce, so people know it's you. Or are you going to be more like that 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 under you know in the back type superstar where people be like, "Yo, he made that." Yeah, I had no idea. Like, yeah. what, what are you? What are you trying to be? It'll be um, maybe a uh, mixture of the two, or it'll, it'll be a mixture. I think with my own big projects, I'll probably kind of like Pharrell does, where he does the you know the four beats in the beginning of the song, or and you know his Star <laughs> Trek track masters, all that good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I wouldn't I wouldn't put it in the songs where it ruins the whole thing. DJ Khaled, <laughs> I'm another not, one. 45 second intro for someone that doesn't have a verse. <laughs> that's the word. That's his you, verse. You beautiful. Yo, you smart. Yeah. What? You beautiful. We're going to keep doing this forever. Shut up, me. <laughs> uh, uh, on, his, on his new album, he, he ruined Juice World song. Oh, Which, man. Juice World did another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled. This is beautiful. With this is love. Shout out to Mod. Yeah. Be pointless. You know what that is? That's too many people in your corner telling you that what you're doing is fire. And it ain't. They just ride in the tit. And that's what the problem is. You need some, everybody who's up and coming or people who are in there now, if you want to avoid the pitfalls of the Kanye's and... Um, the DJ Khaled and and cats like this, the Justin Beavers and everybody else, get yourself at least one or two people who are in your corner who are not yes men. I mean, everybody else in the group is going to call them haters, but they have your best interests in mind and not just your ego. Because you get surrounded by them ego cats, here come another one. <laughs> you be doing that all day and you're gonna have 12 people behind you. Yo, that was fire. Yo, yo, that was fire. That was fire. And then when you come around King Bear, I'll be like <laughs> Cause I'ma have to hit the button on you. I ain't even gonna lie, I'ma hit the button on you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh man. I think one one dude I kinda like listening to. On, on features is mm-hmm. um, his name is West Side Gun, and um, what I love about him, just, uh, here we go no, what down I, the rabbit hole. <laughs> what I love about him is that in some of his music, you'll know him because he'll just make gun sounds. But it's kind of it sounds kind of nice, like um, on a Joey Badass song. I think uh, I think brand new nine one one. Fuck with my gun sounds. I hit him no. with it. I hit him with it. <laughs> That's that Marine Corps. Left, right, left. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. <laughs> Go ahead, man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> but instead of like actual, like actual gun sounds, mm-hmm. he'll just um he'll fit he'll physically say it. So like and and Brandon Brandon Diamond one, he'd be like boom 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 boom. But it sounds good with the song, like. I'll see if I play in the car. But it sounds good with the song. It sounds like... <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> that's, that's like these things get on the mic. Black! Hey, what is wrong with you, dog? Your cat? Can you strangle? That won't be his whole verse, but it'll be like a good like little little ambiance. Like, in the song. So, I'm like... Boom, 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 boom. Like, with the actual rapping. Like, oh. I... <laughs> I told them, it was like, yo, get on this track, dog. Bet, watch this. Bat, Recorded. Done. Like what? <laughs> well, okay, so he's rapping and that's that's some yeah. of his ad libs and stuff. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what he's known for. Okay. It's like when you hear West Side Gun, it's like, oh what what was my here next? Oh. Boom boom boom. It's just Yeah. But Okay. <laughs> but, it's it's one of the new things that kind of that allow for new rappers to be kind of known, because you can make a good song, right? But if you don't sound like either sound different, your music don't sound different, or you don't have um like um what should I call it, voice like a unique voice, mm-hmm. people just forget about you, and that's mm-hmm. just 
if people don't you gotta know, have a catch you exactly. gotta have a niche mm-hmm. exactly and I think because of that I think because if you're already a big name if you already get signed to like a big name um, uh, record label then you're probably you're probably set from that it, de- it depends but you might be set as far as recognition and fame you will not be set financially well, I mean, we'll talk about that, you know, especially with you coming into this, the the music side of things. Um, you might have me uh, on the, the the podcast side and the, the media side, but the music side, yeah, we'll uh, we'll hit on that a little bit. You know, I'll, I'll give you the information I got and and what I recognize in the business to help you avoid all of the pitfalls that. You know, I ran into when I was doing the thing. So, Grandpa Bear, everyone. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I hear you. Shout out to my dad, because that's who he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to my Because <laughs> King Bear will suffice. His name is Grandpa Bear. Yeah, I would have. Ladies and gentlemen, let me go find my belt and do something with this child. He done been out of pocket too long. He, he done got grown. He got, got a few hairs growing out of his chin. You know he's he he's got the he's got the Papa Bear Papa Bear, you know starter kit going on over there. Yeah, you see that he got the, the two fingers. He got to like pinch the sides of his cheek. Oh, is that isn't that cute? Oh, this is amazing. This is the start of a new <laughs> the start of a journey. It'll be down here by next year. I I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been fun. King Bear is in the building along with. Y'all have a good one. Doses. Peace.